Yo, yo, Mr. 300C in the building, in the place to be. We got done with work. We're chilling right now. The weekend's coming up. Trying to go out now. Going with that old school flow. 1989, 92, 93 flow, flow. <laughs> let me stop. Done with work, man. I'm tired. Mad tired. So, let me guys tell you what is popping. You guys saw the last video. Got that. 2014 Toyota Camry Eco four cylinder. Woo! That car is something else, man. I haven't put gas in that car in weeks. <laughs> it's crazy how much gas it conserves having a four cylinder. Comparing that to my 5.7 liter Hemi 300. 300. 300. But yeah, man, let me tell you guys where it came from. So, as you guys know, January, rough month for me. Mama Dukes passed away. Miss you, mama. We'll see you in the next life. I know you're resting good and you're watching down on me and everybody else in the fam. So we'll see you soon in the next life. But yeah, that's my mom's car. So I actually am taking ownership of it and I'm in the process of getting the title switched to my name. And I had to take care of the lien first that she had on it and then it'll be mine. So I should have that here done within the next week or so. Yeah, man, that's a that's a thirty, almost a thirty-three thousand mile car, twenty fourteen, and that car is gonna have a lot of good resale value. How much? How much, Mister Three Hundred C? Yo, let me, let's just say it's about thirteen to fourteen grand of resale value for this car. So you know what I'm thinking, right? I'm gonna have some buying power, holler. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna be able to use those funds and apply that towards getting the dream car, which is currently Charger, Scat, Hack, Wide, Body, Baby. So that's pretty amazing to have that opportunity. So it's a blessing in disguise. Now with the 300, guess what I'm gonna do with that bad boy? You said it. I am going to sell the 300. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I think my time with that car is done. I don't have the patience and the time to go ahead and you know rebuild the engine and do all that fun stuff. It's an old car. We're talking about almost 200,000 miles. It's just not. It's not worth it for me, guys. I got better plans and ideas. So I'm gonna sell that car privately. My goal is to maybe get like two thousand dollars for it. I might even go as low as fifteen hundred, but the goal is two thousand, and somebody can take care of that car and give it some TLC, get it back to par, and drop a couple grand in that bad boy. Bags on bags, and they can enjoy it for what it's worth. But I think my time with that car is done. Let's do a little bit of basic math. So we're talking about potentially I'm going to have up to sixteen thousand dollars to put towards a new car. The dream car, right? Man, I just can't believe that's happening. Like, such a blessing in disguise. Unfortunate, unfortunate situation, of course, for, you know, my mom. But, but I know she knew that I love cars very much. And she'd want me to, you know, do the best I can to live somewhat of my dreams and get the car I really like. So, yeah, man, those are the plans. Now, I have to throw in the Hellcat again because, you know, if I'm gonna be having that much buying power to put down on a car, I could potentially get a Hellcat, but it would have to be a lease. Nothing wrong with leases, of course. If you know how to work the numbers and know how the how those operate, then leases can work out perfect. We'll talk more about that in another video. But yeah, just playing around on Dodge's website. I mean, you can for what I would put down on a Hellcat. They're talking about payments under $400. Like that's unreal, crazy. And I think for a car like that, I probably would have to keep it forever until it breaks because that's a that's a super dream car compared to just a dream car with the, the 392 scat pack wide body. But yeah, so we're going to talk about that in another video, but there's a lot of options I got for me and I know that things are looking really good. Obviously, the house got to come first. So we'll make sure to get the house first, get that situated. You know, furnish everything, get family taken care of. That's just what I do. And 
then we could look at car shopping. So car shopping could be anywhere in the summer, in the next year, beginning of next year. I don't know. That's what my thought process is. Let me know what you guys think. Got a lot of things cooking, a lot of stuff I want to discuss with y'all so y'all can go with me on this journey. Thank you everyone for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, all that good stuff. Helping me support your boy. And this way we can keep it Mopar, no car. You know how we roll. Let me know if y'all got any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am out. Peace.